hello friends welcome to my youtube channel basic electrical today we have discussed about the very important topic that is motor fault types and its abnormal operating conditions so what is the fault fault is defined as uh, as a defect in its electrical circuit due to which the flow of current is diverted from the intended path so here the uh, motor fault is caused by due to the abnormal condition so the abnormal condition are classified as follows so there are different types of uh, ab abnormal condition we have discussed one by one first we have to discuss the types so first is the mechanical overloads and it can be categorized as a sustained overloads prolonged starting or locked rotor and the third is the stalling second is the abnormal supply condition third is the fault in starting supply circuit that is interruption in the phases and the blowing of fuse single phasing and the third is the short circuit in supply cables okay and the fourth is the internal faults in motor itself that is caused due to the phase to phase fault phase to earth fault and the failure to phase that is open circuit okay so these are the different types of faults and uh, caused due to the abnormal operating condition okay in the motor okay first of all uh, we have discussed uh, that is the uh, mechanical overloads okay the first fault is the mechanical due to the mechanical overloads so first is that in this uh, first is the uh, sustained overloads okay so what is sustained overloads sustained overloads means motor does not start if the load is increased is increased its capacity okay so that is the sustained overloads next is the second we have discussed that is b uh, that is the prolonged starting or logged rotor okay so uh, this will be uh, caused if if first this will be caused due to if sorry if uh, it is caused by mechanical loading mechanical loading that is in the short time cycle overloading mechanical loading or short time cyclic sorry cyclic over loading okay so overloading uh, results in overloading uh, results in results in temperature temperature rise of winding or winding and deterioration mean decrement of deterioration of insulation of insulation okay so insulation resulting in winding fault okay so hence the motor should be provided with the overload condition so we have discussed the hence the motor should be provided provided with overload protection okay so third is the stalling okay third is the stalling so uh, stalling means if the stalling means that if the if the sorry if 
if the if the motor does not start due to excessive load then it draws heavy current okay so it should be immediately disconnected it should be immediately disconnected from the disconnected from the supply from the supply okay then second we have discussed the second fault what is the second fault that is abnormal supply condition conditions so basically the abnormal supply condition why abnormal supply condition is happened the first is that this will be happened due to the loss of loss of supply voltage okay and uh, that is the unbalanced due to the unbalanced supply voltage okay so the unbalanced supply voltage it causes heating up of rotor due to negative sequence currents in the stator windings okay so sec third is that what is due to the uh, next point is that uh, the phase sequence reversal of phase sequence reversal of supply voltage next is that over voltage next under voltage and uh, under voltage due to under voltage supply cause increase in the motor current and that will be uh, for the uh, same load is there and uh, under frequency okay so this is the abnormal supply condition uh, the fault due to occur due to the abnormal supply condition the next we have discussed that is third point uh, the faults in starting supply circuit okay so basically the choice of protection for a motor is uh, depends upon the size of the motor uh, so it's important in the plant and nature of load okay so here uh, that is we have discussed first point that is the interruption in phases okay so that will be happen in the interruption in phases second is that uh, the blowing of fuse oblique that is single phasing okay so what is the uh, blowing of fuse or single phasing uh, so one of the supply lines get disconnected due to the blowing of fuse or open circuit in one of the three supply connection in such of these cases the motor continues to run on a single supply okay so if the motor is loaded to its rated full load it will draw the excessive currents on single phasing the winding gets overheated and damage is caused okay so the single phasing cause unbalanced load and resulting in excessive heating of rotor due to negative sequence component of un balanced current so a static single phase relays are becoming very 
popular for the blowing of fuse and single phasing i will discuss about this blowing of fuse or single phasing in next uh, short video you can uh, check it in my youtube so the uh, the basic reason of that is the blowing of fuse is the uh, one of the supply lines get descended due to the blowing of fuse or open circuit okay then second third is that that the short circuit short circuit in supply cable okay so there is the short circuit in the supply cable and the last point that is the internal faults in motor itself okay so internal faults in motor fault in motor itself itself okay so that will be the causes due to the uh, face to face uh, means uh, face to face fault is there okay face to face fault second is the face to earth fault face to earth faults okay and the third is the failure of phases failure to phase okay so phase to phase fault means if there is the two phases suppose r y and b three phases there and the fault is caused in the two phases that is called here uh, that is the fault causes in these two phases that is called as the phase to phase fault if the fault is causes in the phase to phase suppose phase to earth okay suppose three phases r y b and the phase to ground fault is there into earth that is called phase to earth fault and the failure of phases means phase is open and the some of the failure phase is open or due to disconnected due to the failure so that is called the failure to phase or open circuit so this is the all about the motor uh, faults uh, types or the or what are the abnormal condition operating condition of the motors so thank you very much please like and subscribe my channel basic electrical